Now then, everybody, yesterday I brewed a beer. Seeing as I messed up the Columbus Smash and I have no idea what a Columbus hop tastes like, I better have another go at brewing a Columbus Smash. So, let's see how I got on. All right. One kilogram of Maris Otter. Six kilo, kilograms, six grams of Columbus pellets to go in um, a hot break. Six grams of Columbus to go in at 15 minutes left. And 15 grams of Columbus to go in at flame out. That's four grams of the B y b r y b r y ninety seven yeast and rest of the ingredients that's my pan with the strike water in other bits and bobs star sand everything you need for a beer okay so my water is up to temperature it should be at seventy one degrees now I use an online calculator to work out what temperature the strike water needs to be. Measure the temperature of the grains, plug all the um, numbers in, and it says the water should be about 71, so I can get it at about 67. Uh, it's holding steady at about 70 and a half, which will do. Half a degree is not too bad. Let's get the grains doughed in. Okay, so it's 65, probably a degree lower than I wanted. I'm not going to do anything about it. I'm just going to wrap this up and leave it for an hour. So the beer has been mashing for an hour. Now it's time to mash it out. But first, I'm going to turn on my sparge waters, get them hot, sparge in. See how much heat this here mash has lost. Hopefully not too much. See that's down to 62. So we've lost a few about three degrees. But now it's time to mash out. So we're gonna heat this mash up to 74. And then we're gonna Get the grains out. So there it is. It's hit 74 degrees. So I've killed the uh, Kill the heat. So let's separate this wart from these grains. I don't think these will be quite up to temperature. So we want to get this water up to 74 as well. They're not far off. That one's hovering up about 60. So I'm just going to give my boil pot a rinse and then I'll come back for doing some sparging. Okay. So I've transferred all the water back into the pan after giving it a rinse. Sparge water is now up to temperature. So I'm going to sparge. As you can see, I'm using a slightly different sparge sheeting technique to what I usually do. Usually I just wang it all in and then take the, uh, take the grains out. However, because of that astringency problem I've had, I'm testing this method out where I've got all the grains in the muslin bag in a sieve at the top. I'm slowly pouring the water over the top and letting it drain through. So hopefully that'll prevent any of the astringency problem I had in the previous bit.
Right, so in a few moments that's going to drain through, transfer all that into my main boil pot and I'll get the boil on. I'll talk to you guys then. All right, we're just about to reach the point of hot break. When that happens, I'm going to shove some hops in. I'm going to turn the temperature down so I don't get any boil overs. I do enjoy that sight, the way the bubbles burst through all that stuff on the top. Right, in we go with our first hop addition. And we'll be back in 45 minutes for the next one. Second top edition. 50 minutes left to go. Excellent stuff. We've reached the end of our boil time. So I'm going to turn off the heat. Put in the last hop edition. put the lid on and I'll leave that to steep for 20 minutes before I start to cool it down. There it was, a decent, if slightly long, brew day. Um, may have noticed I used a slightly different sparging technique. Uh, in previously, what I did was in that um, bucket with my muslin cloths, I just poured the water straight over the grains. This time, kind of wrapped the grains in the cloth, put it on top of a sieve, slowly poured the water on top. It seemed to do a decent job of maintaining a decent level of efficiency based on the gravity reading, as well as um, preventing any of the dunk sparge astringency that may have occurred last time. Took a gravity reading um, quite high, 1064. Um, wasn't expecting it to be quite that high. Perhaps I need to revisit my uh, calculations for things. So it's been so it's 24 hours. Fermentation has thankfully already kicked off. Got a nice um, Krausen, is that how you pronounce that, on top. So yeah, good to get some brewing done. Good to have another beer fermenting in the kitchen. Hopefully I'll get to brew another beer fairly soon. I think I'm going to re-brew the wedding beer. So stay tuned for that one. Please give this video a like or a comment. Really appreciate all the interactions I have with all you guys out there through the comment section. So keep posting those comments. Please go visit the Facebook page. Please go visit the Twitter feed. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the great brewing content I've got coming up. And lastly, thanks for checking me out.